Hello guys, this is Ari Torals, and in today's story I'll be showing you guys how to create a intro like this one with zero gravity where the text is suspended in the air, it's being hit by um, by both these, um, uh, what do you call them, walls I guess, and it kind of bounces back and forth and it's being suspended. So it's pretty cool, it kind of floats around after it's hit. So yeah, uh, let's go on to the tutorial. Um, so first of all, let's open some 4D and open file new. Okay, uh, go to MoGraph, Mo Text. Uh, let's change the font. Uh, the font doesn't work. I can't change the font for some reason. I don't know why it's glitching like that. But yeah, let's continue with this font. Uh, let's right-click on our text in the object menu, uh, go to simulation tags, select rigid body, okay, now let's create a cube, let's make it smaller, or thinner, I should say, and wider on both sides, okay, and move it a little bit farther off to the side, away from the text. And my parrot is annoying the crap out of me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, let's keep going. Um, now right click on the cube in the objects menu. Go to simulation tags, rigid body. Click on the tag beside the cube in the objects menu. And it's gonna bring up this menu right here in in the collision or not collision in the dynamics tab there's gonna be a trigger option and you can you change it to on collision and let's increase the trigger velocity threshold to a ridiculous amount so that the cube doesn't fall, we can st we're still able to control it, but it doesn't fall and you know floats around so that it stays in the air. Anyways, it's hard to explain until you see what is going to happen to it. Okay, now that we've done that, um, let's duplicate this cube. So right click. Um, uh, where is the copy I don't see where's copy okay never mind let's do it with the keyboard so select it hold uh, hold control hit C hold control click V to copy paste it and move the second one to the side to the other side okay um, now let's keyframe them so uh, select one of them, uh, go to frame 0, hit keyframe, then go to frame 30 and move one of them into the text a little bit and uh, keyframe it again and go to frame 35 and move it right back where it was and keyframe it. Now select the other one, go to frame, uh, let's see, let's go to frame 0, let's keyframe it, and then go to frame 35, keyframe it, go to frame 40 and move it forward until it hits the text and keyframe it. Then go to frame 45 and move it back from the text and again keyframe it. So now what we have is them moving back and forth and hitting the text. Okay, uh, now the only thing we need is to stop the text from, um, fall, from falling down. So we can do that by going to, into Edit, Project, Settings, Dynamics tab, and gravity, decrease that to zero, 
you can even decrease that to negative and everything is gonna float upwards but I'm not gonna do that actually I sh I'll do that just a little bit like minus minus two gravity okay now let's now let's see what happens we're basically done so it, <laughs> it hits one of them hits a text and then the other one the other one when it hits the text the text flips so it looks pretty cool and you can increase the number of frames as much as you like right here just drag up the arrows I'm sorry if it, I'm distracting but that's my parrot again annoying the crap out of me sorry about that uh, yeah let's see this again with more frames oh why is there only 90 yeah it looks pretty cool uh, it looks like kinda like it's floating in space so yeah thank you guys for watching please thumbs up the video please subscribe if you haven't um, please check out my pro pack that I uh, created with Xbox Fusion we worked really hard on it and uh, it just it has lots of really cool stuff it's the cheapest pack on YouTube and the largest pack on YouTube it uh, includes 122 materials, three backgrounds, three logos, or two backgrounds, sorry, two backgrounds and three logos, uh, 20 light rooms, uh, 16 uh, really cool fonts, uh, pre rendered optical flares, and I think that's about it. So, yeah, please check it out. If you like it, you can buy it, it's only $10. That's the cheapest you'll ever find on YouTube. Usually people sell like a uh, hundred materials for thirty dollars. But this one is ten dollars for all of that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. Um, please thumbs up the video and subscribe. And see you guys later.